My name's Topsy, you're watching Top Chat. This is another episode of Hawaii with the wonderful Vic Sanusi. Who is Vic Sanusi? Uh, journalist, podcaster, um, yeah, I suppose. What are three things you must do every day? Uh, pray, bath, and brush my teeth. Nice. Now, what's the best thing to come out of lockdown? Um, saving money on transport, because I live in Essex, so I'm paying like 400 pounds or something like that. Definitely. What's the, what's the worst thing to come out of lockdown? Um, people dying because of corona. Like, it's disgusting. And uh, black and Asian people are dying more. So, True. awful. What's the last album you listen to from start to finish? Burner Boy. Um, yeah, I really like it. The thing about Burner Boy, oh, I'm not going to go into it because I'm going to, I could talk forever, but okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What song have you got on repeat right now? Um, Experience by Victoria Monet. Stream it. Stream Jaguar. Afrobeats or dancing? Afrobeats. Comedy movies. Instagram or Snapchat? Who the hell is on Snapchat in 2020? Uh, Instagram. Netflix or YouTube? Um, Netflix. Zoom or House Party? Who even has House Party? They're chop- I swear they're chopping people's money. Um, Zoom. Uh, TikTok or Twitter? Oh, TikTok. TikTok, yeah. I know you love TikTok. I love a bit of TikTok, yeah. Now, I know you love a TikTok, but is Jason Derulo a hit or a miss? Hit. We have to show the devil. He's actually lit. Now, we missed Love Island this summer, but if you could, if you could go for three, one Love Island, then who would it be? Um, Leanne, because I actually miss her, and she's a babe. She's sick. If you rule the world, what's the first thing you change? Um, I would give, I would give power to black people. What's one fashion trend in the past that you'd love to see come back? Um, oh, I don't know. You know Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake when they were wearing the double denim? I'd probably say that. Yes. What's one fashion trend today that needs to disappear? Um, Perspect heels, like they just look foggy. I thought we got rid of it in 2019, but it's still around. I don't mind them, not me, but... Oh, okay. My favourite childhood movie. Space Jam. Oh my God, do I love Space Jam. And I'm nervous about the remake, well, the sequel, or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I hope they do it justice. Favourite childhood cartoon? Um, damn. I'm just gonna say, um, oh, there's not just one, there's loads. Um, Tom and Jerry, I'll just say Tom and Jerry. Big hearted, big hearted. What's your favourite childhood sitcom? Uh, it's problematic now, it's problematic now, but it was at the time, uh, My Think Kids. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what movie scene breaks your heart every time you see it? You know, Up. Yes. And they pat me, do, 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 do. That scene is just. Heart wrenching, yes, that. If you could be a character on a TV show, what character on a TV show would you choose? Um, Penny from Proud Family. What's the first thing anybody should do before starting a podcast? Um, well, decide whether you want to do it with someone or do it by yourself. Make sure that someone is someone you really vibe with, because I did it like basically my best friend, so it's easy. Great advice. What's been your proudest podcast moment so far? Um, damn. When we won that award, when we won an award and um, brown sugar, like we, I'm telling you, we had no speech prepared, so yeah. we were so baffled. But yeah, that was a proud, very, very proud. Moment. How did it feel seeing yourself on I May Destroy You? Um, mad because I didn't believe it was really going to happen, and I love Michaela Cole and that show, so it was just, you know, when two worlds collide. <laughs> yeah. Big moment. What's one guest you would love to meet? Um, Rihanna. Like, I keep having dreams about this moment, so I feel like it's going to happen, so yeah. Let me see. What's the best piece of advice you've received recently? Um, don't stress. And I know that sounds so simple, but yeah. really and truly don't stress. It's not that deep. I can't come to you. Myself. Yeah, for real. <laughs> 2020 was, 2020 was a crazy year. Mm. What's one lesson we should all learn from it? Um, really and truly, just to, there's no rush. Like, I feel like with our generation, we feel like we need to have the house, the car, da da da. It's like, it's fine, like, take it easy. It's, it's actually okay. Cool, love that. We'll finish it there. Okay, cool. That was it.